I love a good chicken wing, but I'm not a huge fan of the buffalo style chicken wings. Buffalo style chicken wings are chicken wings that are fried, maybe lightly battered, maybe not, but they're fried up until they're crispy and then they're tossed in a mixture of butter and hot sauce, like Frank's Red Hot or Tabasco, something like that, typically served with uh, maybe a blue cheese dressing and some celery. Those are fine, but those are not what I'm looking for out of a wing. What I'm looking for out of a wing is a baked wing. I want a baked wing that's marinated in honey or sugar, maybe some spice, something's get a little zing, so when you eat it, all oh, sticky and caramely and just fantastic. I did a video a little while back where I showed you one of my favorite wing recipes, and it's sticky and spicy and delicious, but you know, I like a variety, and I kind of wanted something slightly different. So I was thinking, let's do a really iconic classic honey mustard chicken wing. I know what you're saying, honey mustard is not that interesting of a chicken wing. Hear me out. Most honey mustard chicken wings are either Sometimes they're baked, certainly they can be fried, and then after they're cooked, they are tossed in the honey mustard sauce. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something where I marinate the chicken in the honey mustard, and then we bake it, and it gets coated in the honey mustard, and the honey gets caramelized. That's what I'm looking for. And it's really tricky to develop. I've worked on this several times, and there's a couple of issues, but the primary issue is it's not mustardy enough. And here's why. A typical honey mustard sauce is five parts honey to three parts mustard. That's a really typical straightforward honey mustard sauce. When I did it that way and cooked it, it was not mustardy. It just wasn't very mustardy. When you cook mustard, mustard loses the bite it has when it's raw, and it becomes mellow, and it also gives really complex flavors when you cook it. That wasn't working, and so I went through several iterations of this, and I think that I've hit on a really, really great recipe for a baked honey mustard wing. What we're gonna do is use equal parts honey and mustard. We're gonna use a nice spicy mustard. I'm using Grey Poupon, but any kind of spicy Dijon will work. Side note, Trader Joe's has a really, really fantastic, very spicy Dijon style mustard. Look for that if you can find it. I ended up adding mustard powder, and mustard powder retains some of its spicy punch through cooking. And then I added a couple of other ingredients to sort of round out a little bit, and it's really, really really fantastic. It's super easy. You could totally do this for your family. It would be really fantastic. Hardly any preparation. So let's go make some wings. One third cup Dijon mustard. One third cup honey. Tablespoon Chinese black vinegar. One and a half to two tablespoons dried mustard powder. One eighth teaspoon chipotle chili powder. Just a pinch. Mix until thoroughly combined. Place one and a half pounds of chicken wings in a bowl and pour the marinade over it. Mix well, cover, and refrigerate for one hour to three hours. Take a baking sheet lined with aluminum foil and grease liberally. Place the chicken thighs on the cookie sheet. Don't crowd them too much. Bake in a preheated 400 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. While they're baking, take the reserved chicken marinade and place in a bowl. There should be about a third of a cup left. After 20 to 25 minutes, remove the chicken wings from the oven and turn each wing over. We want to ensure that they cook thoroughly. Coat the chicken wings with the reserved marinade. Don't be stingy. You want to make sure that every single wing gets a liberal coating. 
there should be just enough for every wing. We turn to the 400 degree oven for another 20 to 25 minutes. Doesn't that look awesome? Oh man. Oh, it smells great. It's got distinctly honey mustard, but it's a little bit mellow and it's got just some subtle complexity behind there. Let's dig in. Wow, that is fantastic. Let's talk a little bit about how this works. It definitely has a distinct honey mustard, but because it's baked for 40, 45 minutes, the honey caramelizes a little bit, the mustard mellows, but we added that mustard powder to it, so it still has a little bit of a bite, and then a real underlying complexity. Almost smoky, but not quite. Almost mm, balsamic-y, but not quite. It's really, really fantastic and really original tasting too. Wow, that is great. Sticky, a little bit spicy, fantastic. You really should try this sometime. Super easy and just so great. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Listen, if you feel like it, click that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks again and take care of yourself. Stay safe.